Friday Night Lights is underway. And the kick will sail into the end zone. It'll be first and 10 from the 25 for Campbell. On second and four out of the shotgun. Williams looks to throw, finds a man in the flat, and out of bounds, tiptoeing is Bryant Barr, the back, and he'll have first down yardage. Jaquez Williams escorts him out of bounds. And decided, okay, let's try some coaching. Went from high school now to the college level, and on a quick slant, throw is right on target to Jalen Kelsey, the sophomore out of Gainesville, Florida. Williams with time. Williams surveys, nobody's open, now chucks it up and it's caught in coverage inside the 10 and wrestled down is the back, Bryant Barr. Three to the right for Williams. Gets the snap, looking to run, nowhere to go and nowhere to hide. Lasso down for a loss. Down position as you see, running quarterback power to the left. Just too much strength for Wake Forest getting in the backfield. The guy that they feel really good about going up and getting it. Empty formation, pass is incomplete, but a flag. Cedric Frazier was jousting. Again, empty backfield. Williams looking over the middle, and nobody there. And this will be from 27 yards out. Snap is a little wild, and the kick is wide. And that all started with a bad snap, and everything went downhill from there. So Campbell comes up empty. A little bit of tempo here. That's what they love to do, run the ball and then hit you with a sneaky pass as they get the first down. Bill Smith plowing ahead behind the left first side of that line. Again, a gain of three and a first down. And up front, you're going to be in a great position. On second down, a steady dose of number 26 in black. And it's Beal Smith Beale will move Smith the chains out to the 44-yard line. On first down again, it's Beal Smith, but not this time. Wrapped up in the backfield. That is Darian Slade, the fifth-year senior safety. Third down and five. Hartman with time. Rifles one complete, and that'll be a first down in the plus territory. That one caught by Jaquari Roberson. Hits one of his favorite targets. Again, no huddle. Hartman cock and fire going for the home run ball. Over the shoulder grab by A.T. Perry. Again, when we talk to this coaching staff, they said our outside wide receivers have to step up. Touchdown or a big pass there. Gets you all the way down to the goal line and then give it to your sledgehammer. And off. Beal Smith finds Pater. Touchdown, Wake Forest. When you have two running backs that are this special, it just makes it easy for you. You want to get them both touches. You saw Christian Beal Smith there, you know, really just getting the bulk of the carries, really on the whole drive, outside of two passes. Touchdown. It's too much for a body to endure. Bar the lone back on first down. Pass is tipped up and picked off at the 25. And finally wrestled down is Travion Red, the outside linebacker. Terrific play for the senior. To himself and makes a fantastic play. That's what you want to see from a senior, a guy who, again, has played a lot of ball. He understands the little idiosyncrasies, was able to time that up perfectly, make a huge play for Wake Forest. Start off with the number one team in the country, then a road game at NC State. That is baptism by fire. Banging his way to a first down. That's Kenneth Walker, who had a terrific game and a losing effort against NC State. Third down and goal for the 19. Hartman again. Great pocket. Missiles one at the 10. Complete to Perry, but well shy of the marker. We'll see what Wake Forest does. Snap and hold were good, but the kick is shanked to the left. But it's been a grueling stretch of games for a small school from the FCS level. That ball might have squirted out. I believe it did. Barr fumbled it, and Wake Forest has recovered it. On their right back, tremendous effort. You see them ripping the ball out. A lot of teams are just, they coach that so heavily to, if you see ball, get ball. Great play by the defense there to really Rip that ball out. Huge turnover. Wake Forest ball close to the red zone. 
Out of the gun on second and five. Beal Smith again. It's been a steady dose of the red shirt junior from East Forsyth High School in Winston-Salem. Inside the 10, so first and goal. And they'll go with a Wildcat. Direct snap to Beal Smith. Look at those moves. Look at the fancy feet. Cutting and finding the end zone. Touchdown, Beal Smith from 10 yards out. Athleticism, as you see on the screen here, nothing there. But he's patient. He bounces it outside. Runs through an arm tackle again. A guy, Darian Slate. I told you to watch him. The top defensive lineman in the country, number nine for Wake Forest. Pocket collapses and down goes Williams. Basham just picked up another sack. And that's 21 consecutive games. He is such a special player. Again, not the fastest, but he works so hard. His hands are active. His feet are active as a defensive line. He doesn't let just one guy block him. You see on the play before there where he ran the quarterback down. Now as the pocket collapses. Kid is constantly jumping around. I'm calling him Boogie. And the nickname just stuck on third and 12. Complete at the 28, turning it upfield, and right near the marker on uh, the reception is Austin White. Such a developmental program. They want their guys to have time and to grow within the program. But hey, it's 2020, and you got to do things a little differently. Embrace the different and the abnormal. That's what we've all done so far this year as bar scampers for first down yardage. Williams from midfield. Little pressure from the backside. Missiles one complete. And bang down at the 34 is Austin Height, who has become his top target in this first half. What a great job by these guys, really picking up the blitz, coming right up the middle. And then you see just the quarterback having the presence to hit his guy over the middle. A little bit of an up post route there. Great concentration pulling in the catch. You see the biggest difference in push, speed, strength. These guys have done a great job so far. Campbell has been good on third down, and that's their third third down conversion. Certainly held their own tonight, 11th play of the drive. Again, quarterback keeper, not that time. One-on-one, -on -one, and he could not make Ja'Cory Johns miss. Corey on the right side of your screen here. He's a war daddy, too. He read that perfectly. Big athletic quarterback. He said, hey, I'm bigger and more athletic. Just a great job wrapping up that explosive player in Williams and bringing him to the turf. Pass complete at the 14, but a slip, and that will cost Cedric Frazier any chance of turning it upfield. Little fake option to the far side. Wide open target, back of the end zone, touchdown! And he said, hey, I'm gonna do this on Sunday too, getting two feet in there. Fantastic play, back of the end zone, Donaldson. Pennsylvania. And you look at the play design again, we're running, we're running, we're running. Sneak a guy out in the corner. Fantastic concentration, get both feet in for the touchdown. Could have scheduled anybody, they decided to go for some pretty good opponents at the FBS level. Almost won it in week one, and here they are, the first ever time that they've clashed against a Power 5 school is Donovan Green coaching bug and decided to coach in high school won a couple of state championships and here he is now coaching Campbell good run here for Kenneth Walker gets to the outside and stiff arms his way out of bounds in plus territory at the 44 as he gets into the hole the patience get your lineman out front and then just let your footwork do the rest Whoop! gets outside fantastic run there into all conference type players I was surprised just doing some research for this game, Emac, how many guys they've had drafted, how many guys are on NFL rosters. Lose that one, but, you know, we're talking about a program that does not go to a ton of bowl games, four in a row. Great second effort there by Kenneth Walker. He's a hard man to bring down. Clawson has done a fantastic job in his tenure here. Damon Deacons continue to march downfield, and just inside the pylon, it's a touchdown. Kenneth Walker from 13 yards out. He's too fast. He's too shifty. This entire drive, he's just been an absolute joystick going back and forth. Speed there on the outside zone. Great job, offensive line, throwing those defensive, defensive tackles. Damon Deacon showing a little blitz here on second down and a gaping hole straight up the gut. First down yardage for Brian Barr. 
Wawaje McDowell gets the handoff and he'll have the first down tripped up at the 33 yard line. He's lined up wide on the bottom of your screen coming around here. Meanwhile, Hodge trying to find some running room, trying to buy time, and eventually the clock struck zero. Ja'Cory Johns will get credit for the sack. To number four, this is textbook. Watch the rush by both defensive ends. Go past the quarterback, but fight back. If four didn't get him, nine was going to. He was right behind him. Yeah. Tremendous play. Two receivers each way for Williams. Scrambling, lofting it up for grabs and out of bounds. And guess who was under hot pursuit there? Carlos Boogie. He's a guy that NFL execs, GMs, defensive coordinators are going to love when he gets to the next level just to move him around and let him be special. Fair catch at the 22. That's where Wake Forest will take over with 2.50 to go first half. Tomorrow. Interesting, you know, with 2,200 fans in the stands, that actually happened at 5 o'clock tonight. Uh, 5 o'clock is when the mandate came out for Phase 3. And so this was the first game that they were able to have this many fans in attendance. When they played Clemson, there were only 50 fans here. It was really just family members, something that's been in the works for a long time, and they've got the protocols in place to make this safe for fans to spread out and be socially distanced and enjoy a football game. Deep ball reeled in over the shoulder catch by Green. They wanted him to step up his play. Two big catches for number seven. That's saying, hey, we need you to step up. What do you do? You answer the call with a huge catch there on the side. Fakes the handoff and is lassoed down. Big time sack by Joshua Johnson. One here, Sam just riding it out too long. The look's not there. Great head. Play clock at five. Hartman going down the near side and almost a one-handed grab by Perry. Kick is on the way. And the line drives it home. We'll see how they play it here. Just 51 seconds on the clock. And conservative play call on first down. Good run by Barr, and that'll be a first down out to the 24-yard line. Eight carries, 31 yards for Bryant Barr. And it'll be Barr here. Out to the 31, and that'll put an end to half number one. That's right, this is the fourth and final one. They have elected not to participate in the spring with the rest of their conference mates in the Big South. Kennesaw State, by the way, projected to win that conference this year for the state of Georgia as Kenneth Walker gets his first carry of the second half. Sam Hartman, a redshirt sophomore from Charlotte, Oceanside, South Carolina is where he went to high school. And Marin on the reception. He just throws it in there like a rocket. Impressive young man when we had a chance to chat with him earlier in the week. Nine for 12 throwing the ball. Kenneth Walker continues to tack on his total running the ball. Trips to the near side. That's where Hartman's looking. Cox and fires and puts that one right on the money. Between the 8 and the 9 of A.T. Perry. See it here on the replay. Taking his time. Great pocket and a great ball. Get in on the sideline now. Have a delayed handoff. And breaking tackles, busting out once again is Kenneth Walker. He is hard to bring down. Mike gave a little stiff arm to cap off that run. First down over the middle, touchdown, Taylor Marin. And that's a fantastic play there again. You see Sam just waiting in the target, waiting for his guy to come across the middle. Throws a strike. Easy slant. Great pitch and catch. Rare short kick that'll be returnable for Kelsey. Weaving near side and Kelsey picking his way through tacklers. Kelsey spins his way to the 30 yard line. He decided to opt out. Coach Clawson said really at that point things were 50-50 on whether or not they'd even have a season. That's absolutely right. Throw. Oh, it's a dangerous throw and it's picked off at the 45. High stepping down the sideline. And a touchdown for Zion Keith. What a game for the red shirt sophomore. The way for points. Again, this is where you get more experience as a QB. Just throw that ball away. 
Because this is just stealing right here if you're Wake Forest. The easy play. Put, putting some moves on the big fella. Getting in for the touchdown. The reason for he wanted to play these opponents was to get that branding up, and he's done it. Pretty cool logo, too, I might say. The fighting camels. <laughs> I'm kind of digging any logo that's got a camel on it. You've got to be feeling pretty good as a quarterback. What a difference a quarterback makes in Coral Gables. That's, that's oh, yeah. an entirely different looking offense. Hartman shows he can run. Lowers the shoulder, takes a hit. I'm not sure if the coaching staff wants to see that. <laughs> Took on Jonathan Jones, the safety. Shows that extra weight at the end of the uh, play there. Back to the ground game and a big hole left side for Beale Smith. And something a little bit different that we haven't seen this game. It can actually compete and win here in the SEC, uh, ACC. On the ground again, getting to the edge, then weaving oh. his way through two defenders. Christian Beale Smith and Kenneth Walker should have a dance off. They both are showing off some moves tonight. See an incredible run again. Just the patience of the running back. Allow your blockers get out in space. Make a great move, two great moves. Horace is very happy. He's fallen in love with Winston Salem. Hartman with time. Rifles one over the middle. Complete. Breaking a tackle at the 15. Jaquari Roberson. On third down. Beale Smith. Straight ahead, fires through the hole, and touchdown. You know, right there, Mike, I was pointing out there was single high coverage, but hey, when you have a sledgehammer, you <laughs> use your sledgehammer, and you get in the easy way. Up the middle and a first down. That's Deontay Jackson. We saw some of him in the first half. He was a linebacker. On first down, Williams. Our sideline turning around on kind of almost a fade stop play it was Jalen Kelsey. Nice grab. You see here, good protection. Put it right on that. It's un it's unstoppable. Yeah. When you have a receiver. On second down. Slant. Penalty. And yeah, that'll be a first down. Kalen Carson was draped all That's over the intended three. target. They go empty. On uh, first down, oh, the whole weird play offensive here. lineman drops down, and now they got a convoy, Look at that. and this is going to be a touchdown. What a play call by Campbell. You're going to see that on Sports oh. Center top 10, not top 10. What a play that was. Might not see it again. And again, great job by all the offensive linemen selling it. 21 with the beautiful ball to his quarterback, and he's just taking a little trot into the end zone. Great job by the Camels. Mason Donaldson with a touchdown pass caught by the quarterback, Williams. And that's the second. Be uh, completely forthright. And a lot of people who never heard of Campbell football are finding out about it. And they just made a Sports Center top 10 highlight. Wake Forest trying to return the highlight. This is the speedster, Donovan Green, all the way to the house. And it's so good to see a wide receiver like this. We wanted to see him make plays on the outside. Hey, go do it in special teams, too, and really do what you can for your team. An amazing run by there. 6'2", 198, with some wheels, Mike. As he gets past that initial wave, there's no question nobody's going to catch him. You know, for some reason, Coach Sweeney never let me return kickoffs. But I got to tell you, it would look just like that. Really? You, you always struck me as a burner. <laughs> A 330-pound burner right. back in the day. <laughs> now in this landscape, they have not been able to do that with everybody. And he said the biggest thing. The ACC, like a lot of other conferences, had to make a tough decision. Now everybody is playing, of course, how quickly the tide has turned in that regard. First down yardage behind the left side of that offensive line. Yeah, the other thing about this season, third and 15, three-man rush. Williams flushed out of the pocket. Another dangerous throw, and that is caught. Wow, great throw and an even better catch by Austin Height. The way that Williams can, it just opens up so many more things in the passing game, especially with a struggling defense game, Mike. He has shown me so much with his arm. I really expected to see a lot more with his legs, as we do right here on cue, of course. Uh, but the throws and the passes that he's making, ball comes out. 
And then a late penalty flag, two of them. A play again, you're trying to extend the play. That ball just hanging loose there, and the DB does a great job of punching it out. Oh, yeah, that's great a fumble. Look. Jacquez Williams is the guy who jarred it loose. And again, just the frustration oh, clearly down. When you have a game like this, coach said it over and over again reps, we need game reps. A big rep right here, and a big play. And that is number 81, Keyshawn Williams, another freshman buried deep on the depth chart. On second down, quick toss, completed the 40, 35, and still running hard is Keyshawn Williams all the way to another first down. They'll get you another one, Keyshawn, again. Earn the right to play, and that's what I'm looking right now on this sideline. Who's sitting down, not paying attention, which really the whole team looks like on the offense, they're standing up, celebrating, excited for their guy's opportunity right now. Safety's rolling down to cover that guy in the flats. Go to the ground game instead, breaking tackles and plowing ahead for the touchdown is the freshman Ellison. What else would you expect? The ground game has been so good all night long. A little seven and a half, six yard scamper there for a touchdown. Happy for his guy, but a great power here. Pulling both guys, get out in front, just be patient. That's what has been so impressive, Mike. All three running back. Wiley Hartley, the freshman now in at quarterback for the Camels. How about that? Been on the bench for three hours, and he missiles one complete for the first down. Coach has said, you know, typically it's a condensed format, not just, not just the good, the bad, and the ugly. So they're able to sit down and watch complete game film, and that's something the staff intends to do with the extra time they're going to have after the season's over. Standards and things to offer is the rest of the FCS. Good pass. And oh. a jarred loose on the hit. Otherwise, you would have had a fine hook up there. Tyreek part of it. Action in this ball game. So Anna doing work behind the mic and now cheering on her brother, hopefully on the gridiron in this fourth quarter. Bringing home rings. Nice tackle near the line of scrimmage. Okay, Justice yeah, Ellison on the Justice carry Ellison. for Wake Forest. Drop dimes <laughs> to you on the wing. I'm Tim Duncan. Come there on, I'll go. go get it. I'll go feed you down low. <laughs> Let the big man eat. Tough throw and caught in traffic and break Come on. tackle down to the 11-yard line. We continue to go deep on the depth chart. Watch the quarterback play here. He's patient, he's patient, feeling a little bit of pressure. Extends the play and he says, let's go. Throws the bomb, a great catch. Goes right over the top. Fantastic play. Great experience for the backups Absolutely. in this game. Trying to get to the edge. Foot race. Got it. Touchdown, Will Drawdy. If you play running back on this roster, you're going to get a carry, and it's probably going to be a touchdown. Into the pylon. What a great play. Just to bounce it outside. Use that speed. Get in for the touchdown. Burrowing his way to a first down. That's McDowell. J. McDowell, the freshman from Gastonia, North Carolina. In a back by that from Boogie and, and just made him even more of one of my favorite players on defense. I think some NFL scouts would appreciate that move as well. Another sack for that Wake Forest defense. Bunch of backups in there. A dangerous game and they're at a dangerous place right now. If you go out and lay an egg against Jacksonville State, it could be a big problem for that program. Yeah, they, they need some good things to happen for the culture of that program in Tallahassee. They need E.J. Manuel back in Yes, they could that's definitely. They there's a few programs that wouldn't mind having that luxury, that's for sure. <laughs> Plenty to be proud of for Mike Minter and company to build on for next year, next fall, when they'll resume football activities in the Big South Conference. Got a chance to play four FBS opponents in their first Power Five opponent in school history.